Hi guys. I just had to come on and tell you guys the most crazy story that just happened like two hours ago. I'm I'm still shaking like really. Um, me and Chris had to go buy a new car today because uh, his car broke down and it just wasn't worth repairing at this point. So we went and got a different car and we came home and we were laying in bed getting ready to go to bed. The kids were kind of winding down so they were kind of playing in our room while we were watching TV. And I was, I was like, yeah, let's go. I, I want to go take the car out for a drive. Let's go for a fun family drive. And Chris like, really? Right now? And I'm like, yeah, I just want to go out right now. I'm all excited about the new car. Let's go take it out for a drive. He's like, fine, whatever. If you load the car seats in the car, we'll load up the kids and we'll go take a drive before bed. So I was like, oh, yay, I get to drive in the new car. So I got everything loaded up, got the kids in there, and I was driving, and we took off, and we went down this one road. It's right by my house, and it's a pretty busy road, and oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> like, I can't almost, I can't hardly form sentences right now. I was like, oh, it's adrenaline. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm at a stoplight, and there's a PT Cruiser in front of me, and I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I'm thinking she ran the light, and there was a girl on a bicycle and a boy on rollerblades and they were crossing the street and the girl in the car hit them both of them and I didn't see the girl at first on the bicycle because she kind of landed in front of the car but the boy on the rollerblades or the guy the man whatever he's 24 years old he went flying off onto the sidewalk so I quick threw the car into park and I ran over there Oh my gosh, this is so flipping crazy. I had Chris and the kids with me, right? So I quick threw it into park. I'm like, uh, to just do whatever you got to do with the car. And I ran over there, and I was the first one up there to the, where the guy had landed. And he was unconscious, and it was like he was snoring and whatever. So I called 911. And first of all, <laughs> I've never had this happen. Called 911, and I got a busy signal. And then they told me to hold. So I was on hold with 911, which was weird to me because I thought you call 911 and someone answers, but they didn't. And then I waited on hold and waited on hold and they answered. And um, I told them what was going on and everything. And uh, finally got to the point where she told me to start compressions and do CPR. <laughs> so I did. And... Um, the guy all of a sudden, like, I think it was like on 20 or 25 compressions at this point, and the guy all of a sudden, like, coughed up blood and stuff, but he took the biggest breath, and it was the most amazing thing to see that happen. He took, like, a big breath, he opened his eyes really wide, he grabbed my hand, and I was like, oh my god, it actually worked. CPR actually worked for me this, like, I can't even, like, form my thoughts right now. It was just the most amazing thing I have ever experienced in my life. Not that an accident was amazing, but seeing this guy who I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, all of a sudden just, <gasps> and like come to life, and it was just, uh, it was so amazing. I just had to share it with you guys because I know I did a video about it before, but really, honestly, learn CPR. Take a class, at least look up and learn how to do CPR because you never ever ever know when you're gonna need it and hey it worked <laughs> it worked I don't know the condition of the guy now I mean they took him to the hospital and I don't know how extensive his injuries were he wasn't wearing a helmet or anything or I know he broke his leg um but other than that I really don't know like internally which kind of stinks I just wanted to know if he's okay or not uh but like I said I had the kids with me Trevor was pretty calm about it. Parker got pretty scared. He said it was really scary and um, he was really concerned that the person might have died. So I'm not sure. Well, I think we'll talk about it more tomorrow. Um, on the bright side, you know, they didn't have to like come up and see what I saw, the kind of gory end of it. They, because Chris just took the car and went ahead and parked the car. So at least they didn't have to see what I saw because that would probably be pretty traumatic for a kid. So, yeah, just 
so random story. That's what happened tonight, like, just a little while ago. Uh, so crazy. So, so, so crazy. Uh, anyway, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.